Now, as you know by now, Maria Sharapova said that she was taking what was a banned substance called mildronate or meldonia. And I wondered, what is it? So I found an interesting blog post, and I read it in depth. Essentially, the World Anti-Doping Agency put this drug on its list January 1st of 2016, this year, after what they claim was a year-long process of evaluation due to its monitoring program. And the monitoring program, they say, is a combination of athletes' reports, literature reviews, and screenings. And they found that the drug was very effective in the majority of screenings that they had conducted of athletes via their urine samples. In other words, they look at the urine sample, this drug pops up, and there's a correlation between the existence of meldonium and their performance. So, for example, there was one athlete, Abede Agarwal, Abebe Agwali, who was the 2013 women's 1500 meter world champion. She used the drug, but even though she used the drug and the World Dope, Anti-Doping Agency reported as such, she is not going to be stripped of her title. That's true for all of the other athletes that have used the drug, including Maria Sharapova. She's used it since 2006. And you would say, why is this? Because they're not taking what would be a retroactive measure against this drug. But what I find interesting, what I want to know is, all the gobbledygook aside, why that drug? The drug is especially effective to the economy of Latvia where it's made, so continued banning of this is going to really hurt their economy at some point, but that's beside the point. When is a drug, a performance-enhancing drug, and when is it not? That's what interests me. Why and why this one? In other words, what's on the prohibited list? The prohibited list here is public. They have archives. They have the 2015 prohibited list. And they say it's for athletes. Force. Publication dates in English. You have the archives listed here. But the bottom line is... When it says enforce, the resource, this resource contains the prohibited list. Now I'm reading the website of the World Anti-Doping Agency, as well as the summary of modifications to the previous list. So list the publication date, list the archives in English. Okay, 2015 prohibited list here, which they present the PDF form, but not the 2016 list. This is wild. Substances and methods prohibited at all times. Anabolic androgenic steroids. Fine, but does this include vitamins? You know what I mean? I mean, when is growth hormones, beta agnostics, hormone and metabolic modulators, diuretics and masking agents, Prohibited methods of manipulation of blood and blood components. Chemical and physical manipulation. Gene doping. Stimulants. I don't see vitamins on here. Specific, specified stimulants. I don't see vitamins on here. Narcotics are listed. Cannabinoids. Hashish, marijuana. Substances prohibited in particular sports, alcohol, beta blockers. I don't see vitamins. So I can use a great vitamin regimen and do well, right? So that's what I find confusing. This is really highly political. And I think it should be called into question. I really do.
because arguably everything is a performance enhancing drug. Milk is a performance enhancing drug, right? Where do we stop with this stuff? I'm just asking.